which blade to use and how to use it best. That's the discussion today. So we're going to talk about the 10 blade first. The 10 blade is used when you have large incision and you need large area to incise. The thing to know about the best area to cut the optimal cutting edge, and it's going to be in red on each of these photos, is that the best place to cut for the 10 blade is on the bevel of the blade. Now, obviously, when you make the incision, you're going to first make the incision, you're going to have to use a tip. And if you were deepithelializing an area, you would probably use a little bit more of this. But the best place is on the bevel of the 10 blade. And I didn't bother drawing a 20 blade because a 20 blade is really the same as a 10 blade, only larger. And a few, I only know one plastic surgeon that likes to use this. You really don't see this one too much, but there are a few people that will, few surgeons that will use it. Then you have the 15 blade, which is used for smaller incisions like biopsy sites, hands, feet, trocar incisions. The optimal edge to cut on a 15 is at the tip of the blade. That's what you're going to use. Then you have the 11 blade, which is good for if you're going to want to puncture something, like making an IND, you're going to want to lance it. Or sometimes some surgeons will also use this on a smaller incision. Um, I have several different surgeons that I work with. One uses a 15 for the trocar sites and the other one uses an 11. What I would suggest with, and on the 11, obviously the tip is where you're going to be. They won't want to be using this because it's too sharp and you wouldn't know where the tip was. You might be cutting something that you didn't want to cut. So use the lance with that. They're going to, we'll talk about this in a second. Let me go and just finish up with the 12 blade. The 12 blade I haven't seen used, but I don't work in those ENT too much anymore. What I used to see this used on um, is tonsils. The 12 blade is used when you want to hook something that's on a stalk and you want to hook it and then cut. So obviously this would be the area you won't want to cut here because if you're cutting on a, something on a stalk, it's going to be obstructed by whatever the stalk is above the stalk, like the tonsil. So you want to be cutting here so you're not cutting anything blindly that you don't want to cut. You just want to use a tip to hook it and pull. So let's talk about the 15 and the 11 if you're making a trocar incision. So they're going to give you, if they have the disposable guarded blade like this, you're just going to pull it back. And I actually hold my blade like I hold my pencil. Um, most people hold their pencil this way, I hold it this way. So whatever way you hold your pencil is probably the best way. And you want to have control of that blade, especially if you're making a small incision. So when you go in, I would suggest bracing the palm of your hand against something so that you have control as you're making that incision, especially with the 11 blade. A long time ago when I was first starting, I was freehanding a trocar site with the 11 blade and I held it up like this, but the problem is that when you're coming up to let go and you lose your resistance, I dragged it across farther than what the incision should have been. So I had the incision here and then I had a red scar that went this far on, um, so that went through the epidermis and it was on a, a black woman. So it really did show up a lot. So have control, have it down here, control it with your palm, and then either the 15 or the 11, the same way I would suggest if you're doing a trocar site, make sure your hand's down there. And sometimes on any incision, it's nice to have that control. When you hand this back, you want to flip it and you want to push this. And I don't know if you can hear it. You hear it click. You want to make sure you get it all the way to the tip. Because if you don't, on the 11 blade, the 11 blade can stick right, the point can stick out here. And then you can, you don't want to cut your scrub tech or whoever you're handing it back to, or you don't want to lay it down on your field and then have it go through the drape and contaminate. 